Well, g'day, flatties and globe defenders. This is Critical Think from Down Under. In this video, I'll be calculating the height of the ISS using two photographs taken from the ISS. Now, this is a different method of uh, calculating the height of the ISS. Red's Rhetoric and Astronomy Live calculated the height of the ISS using parallax. So um, I'm going to take an independent look at this, measure the ISS from these two photographs, and you're probably wondering what kind of jiggery-pokery is this? I'll explain it all, and at the end of the day it's just a matter of simple trigonometry. Now why do we want to do this? Because flat earthers in general cannot comprehend the ISS. They like to say that it's a balloon or an aeroplane or a drone or something. And uh, by calculating the height we can effectively rule out uh, all of these things. Uh, not to mention the fact that the ISS travels very, very fast. And that is observable in the transit videos. Anyway, let's get on with it. Right, now, a few months ago, you might recall, the ship got stuck in the Suez Canal and uh, one of the astronauts in the ISS managed to capture this picture of it. Now, where's Wally brought this picture to my attention and said, what can you do with this? And uh, we worked out, well, I think we can calculate the height of the ISS from this. So, um, they give you all the information about the picture. In particular this one here is only 1159 by 1674 pixels so it is a little bit more difficult because it's a cropped picture. I know it's cropped because the camera has a bigger resolution than that. Now also in this information the spacecraft Nadir point is given. Now this is the point above the Earth, if you were to draw a line perpendicular from that point, then you would intersect the ISS. So it's the point on the Earth that is directly below the ISS. Now you'll see here this um, focal length 1600 millimeters on that one too. Now the camera for that photo was a Nikon D850. They're given the serial number and everything and um, then this is uh, another piece of information on all the cameras they use in the ISS and in this one you can see that its resolution is 8256 pixels by 5504 that's a full size picture and the sensor size is there 35.9 millimeters by 23.9 millimeters so it's a 35 millimeter camera <laughs> Now the spacecraft at the time of taking the photo was above this point on the ground down here so it was only 32 kilometers from the uh, ship that it was taking a picture of. Now the other photo was a wider shot of um, the length of the Suez Canal and this is a full resolution photo 5568 by 3712 pixels and the camera this time is a Nikon D5 electronic still camera now the spacecraft was above this point here 208 kilometers away when when that photo was taken so all this data is available and published anyone can view the photos and the data this is the cropped photo the first one and you'll notice that uh, this is a zoomed in view of that ship and in this photo there's a much wider view now a few flat earthers will be tempted to say that this photo was taken from a lower height because the ship is very big and this photo was taken from a different height and of course uh, flat earthers don't necessarily understand optics and they don't know how zoom works and uh, of course if you use a camera with a small lens you will get a wider shot 
And if you use a camera with a, a big ass lens like that, then uh, you'll get a zoom right down to seeing more of the ship with the zoomed in ship. Now, despite the fact that we tell flat earthers how zoom works all the time, uh, there are times when they still don't get it. So I've um, mentioned this before about flat earthers and their lack of understanding of optics is that a flat earther could never have invented this because a flat earther doesn't understand optics. Yes. And you might think maybe I'm being a little bit harsh and surely flat earthers can't be that dumb that they don't understand zoom and how zoom can make something uh, far away look close. Well, here I present my evidence. So just listen to this. MCs is 16 miles away-ish and Critical Thinks is half the distance, okay? Yet, the containers and the bridge are visibly, visibly similar to scale. This is a huge problem, huge, huge problem, okay? How can you have uh, a bridge and containers at eight miles, a certain scale, and then double the distance and still have the same scale? Hmm, <laughs> Travis, I'm really lost for words a little bit, but um, there is this new fangled invention called a zoom camera that you can actually use it to make things uh, bigger or smaller on the screen. So you see there, Travis from The Plain Truth thinks it's a bit of a mystery that the ship, two times further away, can appear to be the same size in the frame uh, as that ship at 8 miles. Yes, sir, indeed. But that's not all. <laughs> as soon as I saw it, I'm just like, no way, that the moon is not that close and it's not that big. <laughs> There's just no way. That was Ranty when he was infected by the Flat Earth virus. Now he's a recovering Flat Earther. He'll probably have a different opinion on that one. So here's how we calculate the height of the ISS. Now, first of all, you've got to understand how a camera works. So the light rays travel from the object through the lens of the camera and then get projected onto the sensor at the back of the camera. Now the sensor is of a particular size and I showed you that we can work that out and if you know the focal length you can know the distance between the lens and the sensor on the camera. Now then you can do some trigonometry on this and work out what is the field of view of the camera. Now your sensor size is known, your focal length is known and so therefore this angle A, which is the field of view, can be calculated. And if you break it up into two triangles, and each triangle there has in has half A, then tan of half A is half the sensor size over the focal length. And then A is two times all of that. So simple geometry, you can work out what this field of view is. Then we want to work out, well, how far above the ground is this camera when it's sitting in the ISS. So then we do can do some more trigonometry because we can work out what is the distance along the ground along this field of view. So we have this known angle A, we have this known distance along the ground and then this is simple trigonometry to work out what is this distance from the ground to the camera. There's also one other thing to take in consideration and uh, the ISS is not directly above the subject of the photo. Uh, so you'll have to apply a little bit more trigonometry to take account of the fact that the ISS is horizontally distant from the actual subject of the photo. And then there is also an amount of drop 
because as the ISS moves away from the subject in the photo, then there will be a certain amount of curvature to take into account when you're calculating what is the height of the ISS. At this point in time, I'm ignoring the fact that this line is not exactly perpendicular to the surface. Uh, the perpendicular to the surface will be one or two degrees away from that. So here's our first case study, this cropped photo. Now I worked out that from one side of the photo to the other side is 1.41 kilometers. And I did this by looking for the right landmarks and using uh, Google Maps to work out that distance. Now I've also done an overlay to show that that's correct. So I've overlaid the Google Maps photo and the other photo and we'll do the blink thing so you can see the 1.41 kilometers is the narrow side of the photo from top to bottom right so first thing we've got to do is work out what is the field of view now the sensor size is 35 millimeters on the long side and 23.9 uh, on the smaller dimension and we know that the focal length is 1600 millimeters and it's zoomed that's a big zoom it zoomed right in so when we work out this calculation we work out that there is a 0 0.86 degrees wide field of view now the picture is cropped so this portion of the picture is uh, only about a fifth of that because it's only 1159 pixels wide and the width of the sensor is 5504 pixels so that's a 0 0.21 crop factor so this picture is actually only 0 0.18 degrees instead of 0 0.86 and that's 0 0.00314 radians now we can calculate the height of the ISS. This ground and the Suez Canal is the left hand side here and the ISS on the right where the camera is. Now when the angles are very small like this 0 0.00314 we can use the small angle approximation and that um, the distance is just D over A. So we know D 1.41 and the angle is 0.00314 radians. So that gives us a 449 kilometer distance from the camera to the target. Now the camera angle, because the ISS is uh, 32 kilometers away horizontally, the camera angle is 4.1 degrees. So that gives us an ISS height of 448 kilometers the declared spacecraft altitude is 417 kilometers and that's about a 7% difference. Not too bad considering uh, this kind of measurement can be up to about 10% different. But it gives you the right ballpark figure. You know that it's not 20 kilometers up, it's 400. Now going on to the next picture, the wide angle shot. I worked out the distance similarly. Now you, I had some landmarks that I could work out that this line, the red one, it's 112.94 kilometers and straight across this time it's straight across the wide part of the picture, 111.7 kilometers. Again we do the field of view calculation and that works out 13.6 degrees. It's a much wider shot. 0 0.238 radians and then now we calculate the height of the ISS we won't use the approximation this time we'll calculate it all out we'll use one of these triangles here and we come up with the ISS height of 407 kilometers this one also has a bigger angle because it's 30 degrees there which is uh, remember it's about 208 kilometers horizontally 
from uh, the Suez Canal. So we've calculated 407 and the declared spacecraft altitude is 419 kilometres. All very close. So in summary, using metadata from two photographs taken from the ISS, the calculated camera heights were 448 kilometres and 407 kilometres. The normal height of the ISS is 418 kilometres. And the conclusion is the pictures were taken using a camera which was over 400 kilometres above the Earth's surface and the height of the ISS is confirmed. What do you think about that, Flatties? Ha ha ha!